So I'm going to do something that I thought about doing for a while now, and that's I'm going to lead a very short Shabbat service, and I'm doing it for myself. It's not really for anyone. Um, I used to lead Shabbat services all the time when uh, they needed a lay leader, when our rabbi wasn't in, always in a reform context. I'm a member of a reform and a conservative shul. They're each an hour and 20 minutes in opposite directions of my home. And since COVID and then a hurricane, which happened later that year, we, we've not met regularly. And my life fell apart last summer. It was falling apart for a while, but it really fell apart in personal ways. And I've never really gotten back to what used to bring a lot of joy to my family and to my community. And I, I feel very much alone right now. And so I thought that I would do this just because. I'm going to be using Mishkan Tefillah, the Reform Prayer Book. It's not what I normally would use for myself. I would use a conservative siddur, but when I'm with my family, um, we have a, we're we're all different kinds of Jews. Or when I lead a service, I always lead from a Reform siddur, Reform Prayer Book, and so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to light Shabbat candles and do Kiddush and Challah at the end. That's something I learned to do in the traditional shul. Uh, during the summer months when the sun doesn't normally set until the end of our service. And so this is just something that I'm doing for myself. It's going to be very abbreviated. It's going to be very fast. I don't even expect people to watch it, but it's just something I'm doing for myself to get back in the habit and for the practice. So I'm opening Mishkan Tefillah. I'm going to skip the lighting of the candles until the end of this abbreviated service. And I'm going to go to page 10. If you have Mishkan Tefillah, a lot of these are online where you can find the Shabbat service. And I normally start off with Hine Matov. I'm normally not by myself doing this, so I'm still going to follow that custom. This is from Psalm 133.1, how good and how pleasant it is that brothers and sisters dwell together. Hine matovu manahim, shevet achim gam yakad. Hine matovu manahim, shevet achim gam yakad. Hine matov, shevet achim gam yakad. Hine matov, shevet achim gam yakad. Hine matovu manahim, shevet achim gam yakad. Because this is abbreviated, I'm going to go kind of quickly through this. So next I'm going to go to, normally I would sing Miss Morla David from Psalm 29, but not tonight. I'm going to skip Lakado D also because... I don't really want to sing and put this out there. Okay, page 22, Psalm 92. The Psalm for Shabbat. A Psalm, a song for Shabbat. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night. With a ten-stringed harp, with voice and lyre together, you have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai. I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai. How very, how very subtle your design. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. The righteous bloom like a date palm, they thrive like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the house of Adonai, they flourish in the courts of our God. In old age they are still produce fruit they still produce fruit, they are full of sap and freshness, attesting that Adonai is upright, my rock in whom there is no wrong. In that little paragraph we traditionally in the traditional synagogue we sing in the Hebrew. Zadi katama yifra, keres belavanon yish keshetulim, bevet aronai, bechats rot elohenu ya frikud, od ya nu bon beseva, beshenim veranamim, yiu lahagid, kyashar adonai, zori zori velo, avla tabo. Okay. And now we go to Shalom Aleichem on page 24, a traditional song, which um, the legend is that 
an angel, a good angel and a bad angel or messenger accompanies um, the man home from the synagogue. And if he comes in and sees the candles are lit and the challah is there and the table is set, he says, may this, uh, may next week's Shabbat be like this. And the bad messenger has to say, Amen. But if it's reversed, then the good messenger says, may next Shabbat be like this. And the good messenger has to say, Amen. It's a very traditional song. It's one that no matter how angry you may be, or sad or despondent, or even um, despairing. I find that Shalom Aleichem always cheers everyone up. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi HaSharet, Malachi El Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Amlakim HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Boichem le shalom, malake ha shalom, malake el yon. Mi melek, malake amlakim ha kadosh baruchu. Vachuni le shalom, malake ha shalom, malake el yon. Mi melech malake hamlakim hakadosh baruchu. Zeth chem le shalom malake ha shalom malake el yon. Mi melech malake hamlakim hakadosh baruchu. And the prayer just says, Enter in, messengers or angels of peace, enter in peace. Bless in peace, and then the last line says, and depart in peace. Okay, so I'm going to skip the Kaddish for now and go to the Barku. I'm going to skip Barku because I don't have a congregation here with me, but I'm going to go to the prayer that blesses the evening, which you can say any weekday evening on page 30 if you're following along. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher bivaro maravi varavim bekokma poteach sha'arim uvitnuma measa itam umachlif et hazmanim umsader et hakochavim bemishmerotehem barakia kirtsono. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses in their heavenly courses according to plan. Bore yom velaila go el or mifne hoshek ve hoshef mifne or umavir yom umavi laila umavdil ben yom uven laila aronai ziva ot shemo you are creator of day and night rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light transforming the day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Zavaot is your name. Everlasting God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed you, Adonai, who brings on evening. El Chai Bikayam Tamid Yem Loka Lenu Le'olam Vayed Baruch Atah Adonai Hamaravi Baravim My rabbi would always do a talk on that prayer and the way it talks about the way that God orders things. He is still the creator. It doesn't say he created, but it says that he is creating still. Universes are being made even now. Okay, before we say the prayer that is the Reformed Jews would say the watchword of our faith, the Shema, which tells us to love God with our heart and with our soul and with our everything, we say a prayer where we talk about God's love for us. In the evening, we say the Ahavat Olam. Ever, with an everlasting love, you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to Adonai, who loves your people Israel. I'll do the Debbie Friedman version. Ahavat olam, Beit Yisrael, Amecha ahavita, Amcha ahavita, Torah u mitzvot, Hukimu mishpatim, 
Otanu lima deta, Otanu lima deta. Alkein Adonai Eloheinu beshkabenu, Kumenu nasiyek bekukeka, Benesmak bedivrei toreteka, Humesvoteka leolam vayed, Ki heim chayenu, Veorek yamenu, Uva him nege yomam belayla, Nege yomam belayla. Yavavatka al tasir, Remainu le olamim, Barukata Adonai, O have Amo Israel, O have Amo Israel. And now we say the most important prayer or blessing, really it's an affirmation, a declaration of faith, and that is the Shema from Deuteronomy 6 4. And because I don't have a minion here, I will say a Melech Me'aman, God the Faithful King. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Bayed. Hail Israel, Adonai is God, Adonai is one. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever. Via hafta et aranai lo hecha, bekol of avka, of kol nefshecha, of kol meadecha, viha yu had varim ha ele, asher nokim es vavecha, hayom al vavecha, vishinetam levaneka, vidibart abam, vishiftaka vivateka, vlektaka vaderek, ukshok paka of komeka, ukshatam leota yadeka, vilulat tafot beneneka, uktaftam amazuza beteka, uvisha reka. You shall love Adonai, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions which I charge you this day, and press them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away. When you lie down and when you get up, bind them as a sign upon your hand, and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Some of these paragraphs I don't normally read in English uh, when I'm doing them with my family, but when I'm with a congregational setting, I do because... Some people know the Hebrew, some people are familiar, but they don't know what it means, and some people have no clue. And I think it's good to know what we're saying. All right, so... Because it's abbreviated, we're going to skip around. I'm going to go to page 40 to the Michamoka. Mi kamoka bali madonai, mi kamoka neda bakodesh, no rati loto se fele, malkuta rava vaneka boke yam livne moshe, zeli via nu via ru, adonai yam lo clear lam bayed, vene moi, ki paradonai at yako, ukalena mi yar chazak memenu, baruka tadonaika al Yisrael. That's the prayer we praise God for. His delivering us from Egypt. And I'm going to spare people's ears singing the Hashki Venu, but it's a very important prayer. So I will just say it in English. Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and rise and raise us up again, our, our guardian to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel. For your name's sake, be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and our coming to life and to peace forevermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Baruch atah Adonai, haparosh sukat shalom aleinu v'yalko amo Yisrael. Vial Yerushalayim. Then we have Vishamru. Visham nu vene Yisrael et hashabat la sot et hashabat le dorotam berit olam vene uvein vene Yisrael od hi le olam ki shesha yamin asa Adonai. Et hashemayim v'yataretz uvayom hashvi'i shavad v'yinafash. And that's just a quote from Exodus 31, 16 through 17. The people of Israel will keep Shabbat or Sabbath, observing Shabbat or Sabbath, 
Throughout the ages is a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days the Lord, or Adonai, made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. And now we go to the main prayer, the Amidah, which is the standing prayer. This is where my rabbi and other people in the service would stand up. And then you just stare at their foresection and our midsection. I don't want to do that. So I'm also doing a abbreviated service. So we'll just do part of it. Adonai sefatai tifta kufi agita hilateka Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu v'elohei avoteinu Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah Hayel Hagado HaKippur V'yanara Eloyon, Gomer Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hako, Vizoker Hasade Abot Vima O, Tuma Vigoel of Nevenem, Laman Shemo, Biahava, Melakazer Mashia, whom again Baruch Hatadonai, Magain Avraham, the Ezrat Serah. It's a prayer asking the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, who is a loving and kind God, and we call him the shield of Abraham and the helper of Sarah. Atagi bor le'olam Adonai mekei metimatav rav lehoshia Marit HaTal It's a prayer for rain. Mechachel chayim bechesed mekei metim berakamim rabim so mek noflim berofei cholim umatir asirim umekaye memrato lishene afar Micha moka bau give a road, who may do may lock, Melak me mead, who makaye, who mats me a keshua, and a matak leod matim, Baruchatadanai, Mikae, ha metim. This is a prayer which says that God is the one who gives life to the dead. It's about the resurrection. You can substitute and say he's the one who gives life to all instead of the resurrection, but I figure let's. It rhymes better, the uh, resurrection's original. And you never know. So there are other prayers and blessings um, that you would sometimes say standing up. Some people in Reformed congregations sit and read throughout and sing certain things. Then there's um, sometimes a moment of silence. And there's a prayer for peace at the end of this little part of the service called Shalom Rav. Grant abundant peace to Israel, your people, forever, for you are the sovereign God of all peace. May it be pleasing to you to bless your people Israel in every season and moment with your peace. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tasim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tasim Le'olam Ki Atahu Melakadon Lekoha shalom, ki atahu melakadon, lekoha shalom. Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha, tasim le'olam. Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha, tasim le'olam. V'tov b'neka levarek et amcha Yisrael, Beko eruv kosha abishlomecha. Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha, Tasihim Leolam. Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha, Tasihim Leolam. Baruch Atah Adonai, Hambarek Adamo Yisrael Bashalom. Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses your people Israel with peace. We normally would have a moment of silence. And then we would say, May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, Adonai, my rock and my redeemer. Then we end with those say shalom. O say shalom bimromav, hu ya say shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, bimru, bimru, amen. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael. There's more to the service. 
but it's abbreviated. And so now what I want to do is light the Shabbat candles and do Kiddush. So I'm going to turn over here. Let me get the bread. I have two loaves of challah made, but I'll just use the first loaf tonight and have the second loaf with my family tomorrow. So I'm going to light the candles. Then we have Kiddush. We say the blessing over wine. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, borei b'ria gafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher k'dishem b'mesfatah v'rat zavanu, v'shabach kodshu v'yavav v'tzon hen k'elanu, zikaron l'maseh b'reshit, ki hu yom t'chila l'mikrei kodesh, v'zeker l'tzia mitzrayim, ki vanu v'achar t'avirtanu k'idashta, Mikol hamim v'shava koshecha v'yahava v'ratzon hin katanu baruch atarunai mikadesh hashabad. Amen. It's a prayer affirming that God is the creator of fruit of the vine, creator of the world, and also has rescued us from its rain, from Egypt and slavery. So now we have challah. Tradition is that we cover the challah. Because normally you do the blessing over bread first, except on Shabbat you do the blessing over the wine. So then I uncover it, and I have salt to dip it in. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, hamotzi lechem min ha'aretz. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, rule of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. An abbreviated service. A lot more that we could do, but small tonight. If anyone ever watches this, or if I'm watching this, Shabbat Shalom.